Hello, everybody. This is Yuna from Seoul, Korea, and I work for St. Mary Hospital, the Catholic University of Korea. Here is my self introduction. This is a conflict of interest declarations. Here you can see three cases. The left one is class two, and the two photos of the right side is R class three. All of them had severe crowding. How would you treat these patients with severe crowding? Would you extract premolars? Actually, non-extraction treatment was done. According to recent study, compared to class one and three, extraction treatment was done mostly in class two patients because extraction could improve a profile dramatically. Nowadays, non-extraction is getting preferred by both patient and parent. These are skeletal class two cases. It can be seen the protrusion and the large object were improved through non-extraction treatment. Today, my topic is efficient non-extraction approach to correct class two metaprosion. I'm going to talk about the following content. Biomechanics for total arch digitalization, then the effects of the presence of the second and third molars after digitalization. Finally, 3D digital flowout of MCPP. Let's look at uh, this very interesting case. 11 years old female, her cheek complaint was high canines. As this step shows, her skeletal relationship is normal, but she has only dentally class two canine relationship. Still had both maxillary primary second molars. The panoramic view, second molar were not erupted, and there is no third molar in the upper. There is severe crowding in the apart, which is 12 millimeters. Mild crowding in the lower arch. MCPP was used for total arch digitalization. This is a 10 month forum. Treatment period was 22 months. This is a comparative porous of initial and the debonding. In her debonding photo, she has nice profile. MCPP was introduced on JCO in 2010. Professor Jung Gyu Rim developed a sheet parental plate for extraction of anterior teeth after premolar extraction. MCPP is a modified cheap palatal plate. In this introduction video of MCPP, it is featured on TV news. With growing interest in health and beauty, more people are seeking dental braces, regardless of their age. Protruding mouths, crooked teeth, misaligned bites, and other conditions are not only a concern aesthetically. However, dental braces can lead to discomfort, pain, and a change in appearance for a significant period of time, which is why many are hesitant to go forward with the decision. What has recently caught people's attention is the number of studies put out by Korean orthodontists that reduce side effects and pain caused by dental braces. 
Chung Jun Young has seen a misalignment in his jaw over the years, and his mother, Lee Ji Young, decided to get him braces to improve his dental health. The treatment that Chun Young has received is called MCPP, or modified C palatal plate, used to treat malocclusion. MCPP is a device developed by Professor Kuk Yun Ah from the Catholic University of Korea Saint Mary's Hospital that is fixed onto the palate and helps push the protruding front teeth and roots of the teeth backwards. The device is hidden, unlike existing headgear, reducing the burden and concerns of patients. This device allows the molars and all other teeth to move backwards at a leveled angle. The device was used to treat seven men and 13 women for their upper jaws, and according to analysis using a cone beam CT, it pushed back the first molar by an average of 3.3 millimeters. This MCPP modified C palatal plate is placed directly into palatal socket tissue without incision. Mini screw made it possible to desalize maxilla regardless of patient's compliance. But it may cause root injury. On the contrary, Palatal plate is free from such kind of risk factors. Therefore, palatal area is ample safety zone. Since there is no incision, it is called as an appliance rather than plate. It is a method in which a specially designed skeletal fixation device is fixed to the palate to desalize the molars and the entire dentition. With MCPP, maxillary arch desalization can be done efficiently. Now, I'm going to talk about the biomechanics for total arch desalization. Dr. Park of Arizona, Dr. Lee of Bundang Seoul National Hospital, Dr. Kim and I published an article about MCPP. This is the recent version of a seminar in orthodontics. What is the difference between MCPP and the buccal miniscule? Compared to buccal mini screw, which has only one point around a millimeter, MCPP allows you to choose from four millimeter to 12 millimeter distance in the wire level. MCPP was twice as much effective for digitalization and much less tipping compared to vocal approach. We used about 240 grams for each side of MCPP rings. Indentations are positioned differently, so you can change the post direction. This blue line is a four millimeter and the green one is 10 millimeter distance from the wire level. Using 10 millimeter indentation makes more battery and the intrusive movement compared to four millimeters. Here are some clinical tips for MCPP. First, this is about second molar during molar distalization. Without braces, second molar had a distal tipping rumor. To avoid this, we strongly recommend bonding tubes on the second molar during distalization. The second critical tip, if we want to improve our profile remarkably, 
digitalization of urban development tissue is important. Instead of using class three elastic with the MCPP, I recommend you to place a mini screw in the first and the second molars. There are several types of TED. In cluster patient, molar intrusion with the mini screw is effective in improving the profile through the counterclockwise rotation of the mandible. According to the skeletal pattern, the effect of MCPP might be different. For hyperdivergent patients, it shows bodily movement but less tissue movement. However, for the hypodivergent patient, it shows tipping movement with more tissue movement. Look at these various types of parietal retraction arch. For efficient digitalization, we have to adjust the length of the height of the PRA according to each patient's skeletal pattern. Here is a race for a car and a bike. They check the destination at the same time. You can get to the target point more efficiently and faster by using a way other than the usual way. For efficient total artery digitalization, inside your control is also important. You can see two cases which show the apex of a central incisor root is close to buccal cortical bone due to keeping movement. I'm going to talk about three methods here. First of all, it is high torque practice. The law and the standard talk prescription and the, of the maxillary central incisor is 2 and 15 degrees. The high is 22 degrees, which is designed to help control talk more. If upper one to FH plane angle is less than 116 degrees, it is recommended to use high talk practice. This case shows the incisor was significantly improved using high talk practice. Next method is using talk screen. Left schematic drawing shows the black one is stabilizing stainless steel wire, red one is a TMA incisor root screen. Inside your root screen is placed into practice slots in anterior teeth. In the right one, on the buccal side, it is tied with, between second premolar and the first molar for activation. This is a clinical poros using torque screen. This wire is torque screen and it is placed into practice slots. This is the before and the after cephalogram using inside the torque spring. You can improve from 91 to 102 degrees. Compared to clinical photo, 
there is more remoka, remark, remarkable change. Finally, there is a way to use lingual retract. CBCD showed the root of maxillary central incisor uh, almost outside of the cortical bone. It is a lingual retractor which has a pad on the anterior segment with a long arm. Both is delivered to center of resistance of the anterior segment. These are people and after radial ups on the maxillary central incisor inclination using lingual retract. After treatment, you can see improvement of inclination. The photos people and after treatment. Then Effect of presence of a second and third molars after digitalization. Most Christians are very concerned about the positional change of a second and the third molar after digitalization. 2004, this article recommended a geomectomy if third molar to stem exists when digitalizing with the pendulum but actually, this is not an easy one. Recently, we reported a study about long-term evaluation of maxillary molar position after digitalization using MGPP and without second molar eruption. There are two groups divided with or without eruption. The group without eruption of second molar shows full eruption after digitalization. After digitalization, both groups show the favorable position of the third molars. This graph shows the group without second molar eruption has more in retention period. Based on my clinical experience, an erupted third molar moved over or downward during digitalization. However, in long-term retention, both showed a favorable eruption of third molars. The initial position of third molar is very important, but we cannot clearly see the position in the panoramic view. Therefore, we need to check the initial position using CBCD. In this case, after digitalization, the third molar still positioned visually in sagittal section. Another case located apparently in panoramic radiograph, so the molar is located on the focal lingual position, but not clear. In CBCT, however, so the molar in the parietal position. So when using MCPP in adolescent patient, you don't need to worry about third molar. Extraction of third molar could be removed when patient grow. Here are new cases on protrusion. 14 years old male, his cheek complaint was protrusion. He had lip incompetence and a convex profile. He had a class two canine and molar relationship with a seven millimeter large object. This case 
you may also consider post premolar extraction for correction of his lip protrusion. However, his parents did not want the extraction. MTPP was placed for total arch digitalization for 10 months. During digitalization with the MTPP, incisive extrusion was observed. Reverse curve wire was placed to fix it. This is eight months in progress. The treatment period was 21 months. Debonding intra oral poros. Extra oral poros. The nice profile. Stable occlusion relationship is also shown. This is a comparison of cephalometric x ray before and after treatment. As a result of upper molar digitalization, large overjet is corrected. Treatment period was 21 months. Maxillary protrusion was improved. His mom was very happy with the result. This is one of my bold cases. Here is another clinical tip. In crowding case, do not apply shinch belt. It allows you to achieve efficient decrowding. However, since bag is necessary for total arch distillation in protrusion case, pouching or ligature wire is also available to avoid space opening. Finally, I would like to talk about how to apply 3D digital to non extraction treatment using MCPP. Using intraoral scanner, you can make the customized digital key easily and accurately. Only the type of PRA can be produced using CAD CAM, and it can reduce the chair time for orthodontist. For applying the bonded type, patient and orthodontist will be happy. Non-extraction treatment using MCPP in orthodontics meet artificial intelligence Another interesting thing is that age of AI will come soon. AI will diagnose and plan the treatment based on the clinical information. Now, what do you think on these questions? All of these cases are class two, and we treated them without extraction. I think, yes. This is a today conclusion. Non-extraction treatment using MCPP can be considered as a viable treatment method for class two patients. This 53rd annual meeting of KAO will be held in November. Please enjoy this scientific congress. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.